Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the invertibility of the matrices A transpose and uh, A transpose A. So before starting the video, I hope the viewers are familiar with the concept of uh, the four subspaces, the column space, the row space, the null space, and the null space of the transpose. So uh, here I have uh, three different uh, equivalent definitions for the invertibility so if a matrix has a non-zero determinant then it is invertible also if the equation uh, ax equals to zero if it only has a trivial solution it is invertible a trivial solution means the null space of the matrix has only the zero vector so if the null space contains not only the zero vector but also contains uh, one or more non-zero vector then it is said to have a non-trivial solution in that case the matrix uh, the matrix is not going to be invertible and the third uh, thing is that if the columns of the matrix are linearly independent then it is also invertible and the fourth and the most important thing is that the matrix should be square because if it's not a square matrix we don't uh, have the invertibility in that case so let's let's start with uh, the matrix a transpose a uh, so, sorry. let's say that uh, we have a column vector and that belongs to the null space of the A transpose A. So in that case, we can say that A transpose A x is going to be 0. So this x is a x belongs to null space. It can be any vector. It can be 0 vector. It can be a non-zero vector. So if it's in the null space, then this is true, right? We can multiply uh, both sides, last both sides by x transpose. Mm, sorry, x transpose times zero. This is a dot product, so it's going to be uh, a zero. So uh, x transpose a transpose a x equals to zero. So by using the property of the transpose, we can just uh, write this a x equals to zero. So we know that uh, a x the product a, a and x is going to be a column vector so the transpose of the column vector is a row vector so the row vector row vector uh, row vector dot product column vector is nothing but the norm squared norm 2 it's the norm 2 actually so it is going to be norm 2 squared goes to 0 which means the ax is going to be 0 so this is only true when ax is equal to 0 right so this means that x also belongs to the null space of a so what we can uh, say from here from this equation and this equation is that x not only belongs to the null space of a but also belongs to the null space of the a transpose a which means the null space of the a and the null space of the a and the null space of the a transpose a are the same so now let's uh, define some conditions for the matrix a at first let's suppose that the matrix a is a square matrix with a full rank if it has a full rank which means the columns and the rows are independent and if it's a square it means that the matrix is invertible right So if it's uh, invertible, the null space of A will only contain the zero vector. And we have just found out that the null space of the A transpose is the same. So this means it is also invertible. So now let's define a different condition for the matrix A. So what if the uh, matrix is uh, matrix A is rectangular? So in that case, we have to know if it has full column rank or if it has full row rank. So let's uh, start with an example. Mm, let's suppose we have a matrix M times N. So N is uh, larger than M, which means the number of rows in our matrix are smaller than the number of columns in the, in the matrix, right? So if it has a full row rank 
let's suppose that the row rank uh, rank of the rows the row rank is 5 let's say that the m is 10 and it is 5 okay sorry it's just the opposite of it the m is the 5 and the and is the 10 so we have five rows and we have 10 columns and we have said that the row rank is 5 which means all the rows are independent of each other right and it means that the column rank is also 5 because the row rank and the column rank are always the same 5 but here since we have 10 columns and the rank is only 5 it means that the columns are not independent right it means the columns are not independent which means that let's say this matrix is c which means that cx is equal to zero and x belongs to the null space of c but this c but this x not only contains the zero vector but also contains non-zero vectors right okay so if it's rectangular and if it has a full row rank then we know that the null space of the a transpose a null space is the same it is x and this x not only contains the zero vector but also contains some non-zero vectors which means it has a non-trivial solution which means it is not invertible now what if it has a full column rank if it has a full column rank then okay m by n where m is let's suppose it is 5 and n is 3 so the rank so the column rank is 3 is equal to the row rank now in this case what happens in this case the columns are all independent of each other right but the rows are not independent of each other but what we have defined here earlier is that if the columns are linearly independent it is sufficient so in this case cx equal to zero and this x belongs to the null space but x is only the zero vector it has no non-zero vectors so if it has a full column rank uh, we can say that the null space of a transpose a also only contains the zero vector which means it is going to be invertible right so if the matrix has a full column rank it is invertible if it has a full row rank it is not invertible now what happens in the case of uh, a a transpose so for a a transpose let's again start by saying that we have a, a column vector x that belongs to the null space of a transpose so we can say that uh, if x is in the null space of the a transpose we can write that a transpose x is going to be zero we can multiply both sides by x transpose this is going to be zero and here by applying the rule of the transpose we can write this this is just the uh, a transpose x norm 2 squared equals to zero so we can say that a it is only possible when a transpose x is going to be zero now uh, let's uh, also define different uh, scenarios for the uh, a transpose what if uh, a transpose is a square if it's a square and if it has a full rank to say that a transpose is a square and has full rank is the same as saying that the matrix a has is a square and, and has full rank because if a matrix is a square and uh, if it has a full rank then obviously a transpose is also going to have the same property because in the case of the square matrix the 
column rank is equal to the row rank, right? So, so we can say that if it's a square and a full rank, then the null space of the A transpose only contains the zero vector. Uh, so from here, from here and here, we can uh, say that the null space of the A transpose is the same as null space of A transpose. Earlier we saw that uh, for A transpose A, the null space of the A was same as the null space of the A transpose A. But here, for this matrix A transpose, the null space of the A transpose is the same as the null space of the A transpose. So if the null space contains the contains only the zero vector, the null space of A transpose A is also going to contain only the zero vector, which means A transpose, sorry, A transpose, which means uh, A transpose is going to be invertible. Now what happens if, uh, mm, let's see, what happens if uh, A is rectangular? A is rectangular and has full row rank. So we have a matrix A. It has a full row rank, which means five and 10. Now A transpose is going to be just the opposite. It's going to be N by M, which means 10 by five. So for A transpose, so here we said that the A has full row rank, which means all the all the rows of the all the rows of the A were independent. But now in the A transpose, the rows of the A are the columns of the A transpose, which means the columns of the A transpose are going to be independent. Which means A transpose x is equals to zero, but x and x belongs to the null space of A transpose but it only contains the zero vector, right? Which means the null space of A, A transpose is the null space of A transpose zero. So this A transpose is going to be invertible. And if the matrix A has full column rank, just like before. If it has a full column rank 5, 10, A, and A transpose is just going to be N by M, 10, 5. So here, the matrix A had a full column rank, which means all the columns were going to be independent. Now in the A transpose, the columns are the rows of the A to A transpose, right? So here the rows are going to be independent, which means the columns are not going to be independent. The rank of the columns are going to be only 5, but the number of the columns are 10. So it means not all the columns are going to be independent, right? So it means uh, A transpose X is going to be 0 x belongs to the null space of the transpose but x not only contains the zero vector but also contains the non-zero vectors so we can say that null space of a transpose a also contains the non-zero vectors which means this is not going to be invertible So the bottom line is that the null space of the A, sorry, this is not A transpose A, but it is A, A transpose, right? So the bottom line is that the null space of the A, A transpose and the null space of A transpose are the same and the null space of A transpose A and the null space of the A are the same.